After building my magnetic bike rack, buying so many cheap lights over the years, and biking in the dark my entire life, it's finally time to build the bike light I spent the past two years designing. I bought this 20 watt LED and found a heat sink that after cutting off a few fins fit perfectly under the handlebars of my bike. I glued the LED to the heat sink with thermal adhesive, but before gluing anything to my bike, I like taping the frame so if I ever have to remove it, the glue won't damage the paint. The friction holds it in place well enough, and the glue should make sure it never comes apart. Next, I got scammed with these LEDs that are sold as 15 watt car lights, but are actually 1.5 watts each. Later in the video, I'll explain why I'm mounting several different lights in the front instead of only the main LED. And only after mounting them to the fork, I realized my mistake, so time will tell if they get crushed. I want to glue these red LED strips vertically onto my bike rack, but their adhesive seems to have already failed somehow. And in case you're wondering, the weird thing under my bike rack is the magnetic mount for my bike lock, and I have a video on making that as well. I don't always need to turn on the 20 watt LED at full power, so I'll use this high speed dimmer to control the brightness. I also want the red LED strips and both of the LEDs in the front to flash at the same time, so I'll power them with this strobe light controller whose flashing style and speed can be adjusted. I started by desoldering the screw connectors on the dimmers since it would only be a matter of time before the screws would unloosen from the vibrations while biking. Two of these toggle switches are what will allow me to turn both of the white LEDs and the red LED strips on or off separately, despite being powered by the same strobe controller. I twisted the inputs to both of the dimmers together and soldered them to a connector that will connect to the battery I'll make next. But first I have to mount the control box to my bike. I soldered the LEDs in the front directly to their switches and the LED strips through a connector so I'll be able to disconnect them in case I ever have to remove the bike rack. I secured a lens and reflector for the LED to the heatsink with zip ties and added waterproof boots to the switches and a knob for the dimmer. Instead of buying an expensive battery, I wanted to try building one instead. 
I took apart an old laptop battery which was made of 18650 batteries, six of which I'll reuse to build a new battery pack with this charging board. I didn't have a spot welder and soldering wires straight to lithium ion batteries can cause them to explode. So I soldered three 18650 sized cases to the board according to the schematic. I've never built a battery pack like this before, but it worked. I wired the switches like the brakes. The right switch turns on the red lights and the left one turns on the flashing white lights. Unfortunately, my camera's night vision doesn't show how bright the LEDs actually are in real life, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I ended up spending only $25 for all of the components which is ridiculously cheap considering the outcome. The 20 watt headlamp is incredibly bright, the LED strips can be seen from very far away and the battery seems to last forever. If you liked this video, check out both of my videos on making a bike horn and building a custom bike rack with built-in storage for my U-Lock. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my future videos.